A greeting, Scorpio. Welcome to Ingrid's Insights, and how are you? Uh, let's dive right in into my new viewers. Welcome, welcome, and let's see what it is the cards have. Uh, as we begin, uh, the energy Scorpio around you is quick. I'm picking it up myself. I'm just, it's like this night is dashing uh, from one side of the card out through the other. You're up in the clouds. You've got a mission. You're on a crusade, a Scorpio. Of what's going on? You're thinking about something a lot, and you're getting information, and you have momentum toward this idea, toward this uh, sense of uh, what is right, what is right for you. And it's a new opportunity you want to go after with a lot of zealotry. And you know it's going to be successful. You know uh, it's worth it. Um, and it's going to be vibrating uh, with this energy of illumination. And you know if you plant the seed and you go after it and you communicate oh, this message, it's going to be very successful. And you love to garden, a Scorpio. And so you're going to grow this in your garden. Plant it, water it, fertilize it. And talk about it, explore it, express it. Um, with quickness you're going to grow this quickly and as, with the ace of swords well because you're going to see the truth clarity is coming at the foundation Scorpio and you're going to be victorious and you know it um, that this project this investment uh, that you're going after is going to be true and clear and accurate and a gift uh, that you're going to recognize um, because you're going to take the leap of faith with this fool energy, uh, the zero, toward a new beginning, toward a new adventure, a new life, a new way of being, a beginner's mind. And that's what influenced you recently with these two beginning cards of that Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. You took that beginning out quickly. And it's coming with... Uh, well, maybe the uh, higher powers want you to see you're almost home, uh, Scorpio. Look, you're almost to the finish line. And you've been having a back-breaking load, an uh, obligation, a responsibility. But recently, you just maybe jumped, uh, took a, a leap of faith, maybe away from this burden toward a new opportunity quickly uh, to... Uh, um, see that maybe there is something psychic you're getting some information on uh, something from your dreams or intuition but things are not clear maybe this heavy burden something you're worrying about uh, this obligation uh, this duty uh, that you're seeing well maybe you don't have all the information about this opportunity these two new beginnings in making money and investment and also in a new insight some clarity about what you're jumping into this risk of uh, this adventure but somehow it came into this sense of duty and obligation uh, and a heavy load so you might need to get more information when the moon is there there's fluctuations uh, this is a rule by cancer energy and Pisces energy but you're coming up out of this uh, with the crab of cancer out of the unconscious and you have a path laid out before you Scorpio but you have to go past those a canine those are those uh, very domesticated energies that come from the wolf you're gonna have to move through those uh, different energies uh, so you can have this strength this is inner love self-love self-understanding and you have infinite power above you to help you be brave strong courageous as you go after maybe you have to speak a hard a difficult truth and offer a new opportunity of it because you saw something clearly that was um, maybe a person or a situation that you were dealing with recently had to take a leap of faith or that could have been you this adventure uh, because uh, it's going to bring you this fulfillment um, Scorpio uh, from your environment a wish come true and maybe there's a wish coming true that you're going to be influenced by someone else 
and they're uh, very satisfied. They're very fulfilled. Uh, they're very uh, pleased. Uh, there's a harmonious energy uh, in your environment, a happy energy, a fulfilling energy, because the Hierophant is coming as your hope and fear. Well, this is this energy of the Pope, of religion, of traditional values, of commitment. Maybe your hope and fear is that uh, you'll have to be strong and allow others in your environment to influence you with their wish coming true. But you're having to see things from a more traditional value system, a belief system. You're reviewing your religious connections and affiliations. Or you're getting a teacher who can download from the spiritual realm uh, information about a rituals, tradition that are, they're going to teach and initiate you into. That's your hope and fear. And the final uh, outcome and advice is the sense of the star. Well, that came in um, this other reading. So the star is shining today on a lot of the collective. So if this is a personal reading, this could involve this need to heal, to have optimism, to use that a spiritual traditional belief system to know how to inspire others, uh, to uh, come out of a difficult time, out of the dark and shine uh, in the deepest way because you got the emperor. Well, that is going to bring you into this position of not only shining and inspiring, but also having this authority over both the realm of the physical 3D uh, structure, a uh, commerce, building, uh, profession, and also of the spiritual realm. And the star is there between those two forces in you, uh, a Scorpio, a shining, inspiring, uh, being in the limelight, uh, getting recognition for both your spiritual connection and your authority, um, but also that ability to take action and leadership over what it is you want to do and how to use your uh, spiritual gifts and talents, but also to bring them down to earth and make them real and a power up in your life. This could involve a father figure uh, that is important to you. Uh, and you've got the Ace of Swords because you're going to get clarity on what this new opportunity is to plant and to go after it quickly uh, with a very uh, uh, in a s energy of uh, a new beginning, taking a risk. And if there's been a burden, you're going to uh, go for it. Keep on going. Trust you've been resilient. You could be having some back pain because of what you shoulder, but you're going to release that and get any information you need from your intuition and your dreams so you can use that strength uh, and courage to come into that wish fulfillment and satisfaction. And uh, that is what I have for you today for my beautiful uh, Scorpios. If it res resonates, please let me know in the comments. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to help my channel grow so I can continue to get this message out to the collective Scorpios. And sending you love. Bye-bye.